Et yo les gens, c'est Zoxibun bon aujourd'hui on est parti eh bien, pour l'épisode 2 de The War of Among Us. Enfin, après deux mois, deux mois que j'attends la trad, mais bon tout va bien. <rire> un petit peu long pour la trad. Commencer l'épisode 2. Ah enfin, j'espère que vous allez bien. Parce que moi, ouais. Mr. Toad Previously. Do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place. Whoa, 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 hey, hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid cunt? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Please, Big B. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. I promise. Thank you. For trusting me. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Come with me. No. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow! You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. <coughs> I'm D. He's dumb. He said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. Holly, you're out of paper towels and uh, they're gonna string me up, baby. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. All right, I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl name. Fuck, man! This fucking laptop. Around this part of town, rich fucks in the woods need a shakedown. Isn't that right, Big B? Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Dead, dead game prison. What a film to hear. Long. Making this more difficult than it has to be. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? Extremely I know bien. it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. I'll be better when I find who did this, which I can't do while sitting in here. We all want the same thing here, Big B. Look. I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. You don't know anything. If you did, you wouldn't be sitting here talking to me. You'd be talking to the piece of shit that did this. Well, you stonewalling me like this isn't helping either of us, so why don't you cut the shit and... What? Trying to help you, Bigby. What is it with you cops? Always trying to empathize with people. I know this must be hard for you. Do you? Do you fucking know? Have you had a friend killed and their head left at your fucking doorstep? No, didn't think so. Your nose is bleeding. <laughs> you missed a spot. Yeah, you, uh, you just smeared it across your face. You got a tissue or something? Detective Brannigan? 
I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah. I know. I just said that. Is there something? Do you hear that? <gasps> what the fuck? Please. Please. Now. Uh, what, what the fuck is going on? You should be thanking me. It's just a memory wipe spell. Very expensive. But it works. The whole station will forget the last 24 hours. And everything they saw at the woodlands. Well, hurry up. C'est bon, faut juste tout prendre pour rien. Ils oublient rien. Pour la photo et tout. Si ils voient ça, ouais. Tiens, hein? Il y a une tête. Les poulets, va la prendre. Voilà. Donc là, et tac là Putain. J'aurais tout pris, je l'aurais dépouillé. Oh, oh, Pierre. We found Tweedledee chained up to a post. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. Well, I don't know why you detained him. Dee was at the trip trap when Snow was left at the woodlands, so he couldn't possibly be involved in this mayhem. The woodman is... Bluebeard's currently interrogating him, and he hasn't said anything useful. He's working for somebody, and whoever it is wants him snooping around every crime scene I've looked at. That doesn't necessarily mean they're involved in the murders. I know what you're thinking, Bigby. It's been one full night and a slice of morning, and I already miss her too. You know, I never get more homesick than one of us dies. And now, for it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. I just can't believe this is really happening. Yeah, it's hard. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Did she, um, give any indication to what she was thinking? When you saw her last, I mean. I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was... I guess fine, I suppose. She could come off as callous sometimes, but she wasn't really. She said that she wanted to change things. Make it easier for Fables to get help when they need it. I don't know what else to say, Bigby. We have to have to put an end to this. It's been two murders in as many days. If we don't unearth our culprit and soon, there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. I'll get it done. Please, Bigby. For Miss White. I got it. That's not a very good answer, is it? Come on, just tell me what I want to know. It will make things a lot less painful for you, in theory. Oh, were you planning on using that? I just thought you really liked rubbing your little sword. What the hell do you think you're doing? 
Hello, Ichabod. Sheriff. Bluebeard. I was just chatting with our new friend. You were supposed to wait for us to get back. I told you, if you want to be involved, you will do things my way. No violence! Whatever you say, Ichabod. Hello, Big B. I want answers, D. Oh, goody. I thought you wanted questions, and I was having so much trouble thinking of any good ones. Though I'd settled on, how's your head? You see what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this, Bigby? Shh. Do you think this is a joke? Snow White is dead. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. You were with me when it happened, dummy. I still have questions for you, D. Sounds like a personal problem. This is ridiculous. Let him work. He's got more experience with these kinds of things. Why were you at Toad's place? Looking for a change of scenery. Thought I might move in. Had to take a look around first, of course. All right, D. Let's get to know each other. Fuck, Big B. Don't make me look at that. Just put that away. Please. This is why we're here. Someone killed this woman, and we need to know who. I get it, I do, but I can't tell you what I don't know. Just tell me what you were doing at Toad's place. Look, Big B, we're not on opposite sides here. My brother and I are trying to get to the bottom of things. Same as you. Your brother? Where was he last night? I can't say. He could have been anywhere. Take your best guess. He didn't do it, if that's what you're thinking. Then where is he? No, I'm not sending you after my brother. Look, I answered your question. This, Can uh, I get my stuff back now? What did you find on him? Oh, uh, nothing of consequence, really. Just let me go, all right? I don't have any answers for you. What is it now, Big B? You need to tell me where your brother is. Look, I know it's unpleasant. You don't want to be here, right? I'm not trying to make things difficult for you. I just need you to cooperate. Once you've answered my questions, I'll let you go. It would help if I wasn't strapped to a chair. Fair enough. Look, Big B, this isn't going to work. Don't you want to find out what happened to those girls? To Snow White? <sighs> Let me handle this. So where's your brother? Look, mate, I'd like to help. I would, but I can't tell you where he is. Last time I saw him, we split up and I went to find Faith. Uh. I don't know where he is now. But he didn't kill anybody. You mentioned Faith? Look, I went to her apartment. That's no secret, you saw me. No, there's more to it. You said you were trying to find something. All right, D. What did you want from Faith? Sorry, I can't help you. I'm not saying any more about it. Yes, it you Anyone? Oh, you're done playing nice now. Is that it? What are you doing? Getting answers. I told you to keep yourself under control. Uh, let me handle this. What did you want from Faith? I didn't want shit from that little thief. More trouble than she's worth. I could say the same about you. Oh, yeah? Untie me and see how much trouble I am. What did she steal? Must have been valuable. I don't know. It was just some dumb thing my boss was after. What did you say? Your boss. So let's talk about your hey, boss then. Au fond. 
will smell. Come on, D. It's clear you're just following orders. So who's calling the shots? No, I'm fucking done. Oh, je trop peur. You'll fucking pay for this. No. Last chance, D. Who are you working for? Fuck you. You're a piece of shit, Bigby. Beauty was wrong about you. You're just a sick beauty. You're full of shit. Oh, we're good friends. That's enough. I will not tolerate this savagery. You think someone was trying to kill Snow? Isn't it more likely someone was trying to get back at you by killing her? You want to talk about Snow? You treated her like shit your whole career. Better take the blame for your incompetence. Now you can. What's going on down here? Yeah. Ce jeu est bizarre. Euh. Je être un peu des deux. Une tête, ça repousse pas sur un corps. Si on fait, ça serait bien de travailler comme ça. On aura déjà des kills avec une Oh, c'est une grosse connerie. Il y a un gros troll de moi, ça se ramène à déguiser en elle. Déguiser en elle. Que peut faire Oh là, il a le signe. C'est la drogue, je pense. Okay. What the hell was going on down there, Bigby? Abusing a prisoner like that. I thought you were dead, Snow. And that makes it okay? Which is I hope it was worth your time. Okay, you're gonna have to explain this, because I'm really not getting it yet. After a conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found a body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy. But hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. I should have been there, Snow. I tried calling the business office, but there was no answer. I couldn't find you, or anyone, so I took care of it. Snow? What is it? I'm glad you're uh, not dead. Me too. I just want to get to the bottom of this. I just feel like... What is it? I just... I feel responsible in a way. She looked just like me. And maybe that's why she was killed. Okay. If someone wants you dead, at some point they'll realize they missed their target. And they'll come looking for me. You just have to find out who did this. And why she was glamoured to look like me. I mean, that's what it is, right? So, what's our next move? Maybe you should lie low for a while? Until we figure out what's going on. And what? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs? Waiting for the big bad wolf to solve all my problems? It's too dangerous out there. Too dangerous? Bigby, I... <laughs> I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once. I'm not yours to lose. I'm sorry. I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. I can take care of myself. I've been doing it for centuries. TJ is waiting inside. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. Even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up, though, so try not to be too... you know. Okay. 
répondre, je peux gérer. CJ, c'est le crapaud, je crois. Ah oui, c'est le crapaud junior, le petit. Jay's over there. I don't know if you want to talk to him first or after, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. I, I want to be there. Buffkin, do you have a second? Of course, Miss Snow. Oh putain, c'est bizarre de pouvoir bouger. Attendez. Comment on fait déjà? Q. Ok, Q. Attendez. Hop. Merde, juste mes touches. Ok. Oh, that's enough. Amira, vanish! Cancel! What the hell are you doing? Don't even get started with me, Sheriff! What's going on? I saw what you did down there. Is that how you treat your prisoners? I'd be lying if I said I didn't want to give Tweedledee a good smack after what he put me through. But what you did to him was way over the bloody line. You scared the shit out of me, little boy. He saw everything! Okay, Mr. Toad. No! I want an explanation. So you've got nothing to say for yourself then? People get called in for questioning and they get beaten to a fucking pulp? That's enough! Mr. Toad, I deeply regret the distress this has caused you and your son. But right now we need to carry on with the investigation. I will be happy to speak with you about your concerns later, but you must understand how urgent this is. We need to talk to TJ. This ain't over, Big B. TJ. It's all right. Are you ready to talk to Mr. Wolf? Watch yourself, Big B. You do anything to hurt me, boy. It's okay. This won't take long. Go ahead, TJ. I go swimming at night sometimes, in the river. I wasn't doing anything bad, I promise. Of course you weren't. We know you're a good kid, TJ. You're not in trouble. Just tell Trouble's me what right. happened. I was there, under the big blocks, and I heard noisy feet. And when I hear that, I'm supposed to go underwater and stay real still and quiet. That's right, son. Then I saw... I... I saw the lady! <laughs> <laughs> Careful, Big B. I wasn't. I know. The lady fell in, but but she didn't have her head on. I thought I thought she was gonna pull me down too. <laughs> Cause, cause she had rocks on her feet, and she kept falling down in the dark parts. <laughs> Cinder blocks tied to her ankles. Is there more, TJ? Is it true? You know when people are lying? I heard you could do that. That's why you're the sheriff. Yeah, it's my special power. I always know when people aren't telling me the truth. Is there something else you want to say? Please, don't be mad. What is it, TJ? I... I didn't stay under the water. What? I know I'm supposed to, but I was scared, and, and I went to the top again. I couldn't help it! I gave you very specific rules. You have to stay quiet and out of sight or bad things can happen. I told you! You're not in trouble. Like Ellie's not. Not this time, Toad. So you didn't stay underwater? I don't know if anyone saw me, but, but someone said, stop laughing. 
and then I was scared, and I went under for as long as I could. Wait, you heard someone? Yes. Why didn't you tell us before? I didn't want to be in trouble. Did you see who it was? No. <laughs> okay, TJ. I'm sorry. After I came up again, there was no one there, and I ran home, that's all. I promise! I want to go home. Okay, you can go. <laughs> Thank you, TJ. Okay, son. <laughs> you did a good job, kid. Come on, then. On le rassure à fond, on s'en allait en dire de la pote, et puis voilà. J'ai bien défoncé l'autre, c'est pour ça qu'il y a un peu de se chier dessus. Heureusement que j'ai pas frappé Crane. Hein. That went about as well as I expected. <sighs> you want to go look at the body now? Yeah. Come on. Oh my goodness! I almost forgot. Les effets personnels de la de la lady. Chambre. Est-ce qu'on s'arrête là Ouais, on va s'arrêter là pour le pro cette première partie de l'épisode 1. 2, pardon. Parce que j'ai envie d'en sortir plein. Enfin, vite, quoi, vous savez. La tente. Et comme ça, ce jour pourra peut-être une demi-heure. On sera une bonne demi-heure. On devrait avoir le corps là-bas, là. Dans le prochain épisode. Allez, j'espère que ça vous aura plu, les gens. N'hésitez pas à liker, à commenter, à partager la vidéo si c'est le cas. On se retrouve à plus tard pour la suite. Allez, ciao.